all right guys so bitcoin currently down about 3.7 percent over the last 24 hours there is a lot of stuff going on right now i think cpi data is coming out tomorrow and i'm gonna give you exactly my next price targets for bitcoin guys i am currently not in a long and not in a short position i will also show you real quick my last long that i took on bitcoin and uh, yeah guys with that being said also make sure to check out bitget down below to uh, join the giveaway guys they're giving away one bitcoin for the next six days also to 100 different people all you have to do is just to use my link down below sign up guys it takes only about 20 seconds and then complete your first time futures trading within the next days and then you can join the giveaway like i said 100 lucky traders will share one btc and yeah also make sure to like subscribe guys if you have any questions leave a comment down below bitcoin currently down about 3.4 percent 3.6 percent over the last 24 hours guys and down about 0.8 percent over the last seven days and also the fear and greed index guys let's take a quick look on the fear and greed index right now it's around 16 so we are going down again after we had some type of short-term recovery to about 24 the uh, crypto fear and greed index is going down again to about 16 guys and of course the price is coming down all the way from 22k all the way down to about 19,700 dollars so let me show you real quick my last trade that i took on bitcoin guys this here let me check real quick on discord this is my last trade that i took guys right here btc long around twenty thousand eight hundred and forty dollars then my first take profit target around twenty one thousand one hundred and thirty six dollars was actually hit guys and then i got stopped out as you can see i'm always getting stopped out at my entry position guys if the price is not going into the direction i wanted to go then i got basically stopped out at my entry point right here this is where i got my take profit area let me check real quick yeah right here guys i got my take profit area right here this is where my take profit area was hit and then i got stopped out again on the way down and yeah bitcoin right now very clear on a huge downtrend guys we will also talk about the very interesting chart i just found on twitter guys but later in this video so like i said make sure to stick with me until the end and um right now as you can see since bitcoin got rejected around twenty two thousand five hundred dollars we had a huge downtrend actually guys and right now we are making higher uh, lower lows and also lower lower highs and bitcoin is definitely trending down right now so first of all guys you can see that we had another huge liquidity trap basically uh, above twenty one thousand seven hundred dollars if we are going into the four hour time frame you can see guys that actually right here and right here also we had two areas of resistance for two times already right so this is basically a huge supply zone right here around twenty one thousand seven hundred dollars huge supply zone for bitcoin then we had the first fake out liquidity trap basically right here this was actually a huge short possibility and then we had basically another liquidity trap right here guys above 21,700 to about 22,500 dollars another big liquidity trap and bitcoin did not manage to hold up again and we are basically going all the way down from 22,500 to approximately 19,700 dollars 12 percent sell-off overall guys all right let me say you that first of all overall you can definitely say that we have still a lot of support in this range between 19,700 to approximately 18,900 dollars guys this area right here is still a huge support in my opinion for bitcoin and as long as we are able to hold above the support guys no reason to panic at all but i will talk about that later in this video and i will explain you exactly why this support right here is still a very strong support right now guys this chart right here let's talk about it actually real quick you can see this um it's basically the cmf it's sound it sounds definitely complicated but it's basically measure measures the money flow volume during a specific period and what it's basically saying is a potential bottom for bitcoin guys so as you can see right here on the cmf for example in 2012 we had a scenario where the cmf was on this low right here 
and the bottom was basically in around i don't know in 2012 around two dollars or so on bitcoin then we had the same scenario in 2015 as you can see guys where the cmf was again at the same area and the bottom was actually in around 150 dollars or so then we had the same scenario guys in 2019 where the bottom was actually in around two thousand or three thousand dollars or so in 2019 guys and right now we are currently at the same place like we've been actually in 2015 guys and this money flow um, money flow uh, indicator is basically showing a potential bottom for Bitcoin guys so if you're looking for example right now into the weekly time frame on Bitcoin you can actually see how let's see 2015 bottom guys was right here at 155 dollars imagine bro buying bitcoin around 150 dollars i would not be even even sitting right here i was sitting on some yacht and on on a boat guys and just chilling but yeah anyway so the bottom was actually in guys around 150 dollars and right now the indicator is showing another potential bottom for bitcoin in 2022 and i think this is definitely a very interesting chart to look at right now and yeah i mean actually guys if you're looking into the weekly time frame i'm still expecting some sideways consolidation in the weekly time frame and if you're going into the four hour time frame you can still see this is how i'm looking at the chart right now guys you can see that we have still this low actually around seventeen thousand five hundred dollars and then this second higher low let me pull out a very a more clean chart bro so let's take a look at this chart right here guys so you can say you can look different at the chart all right so first first of all we have definitely this low around seventeen thousand six hundred dollars all right this is basically the first low that we have then we have the second one around let me pull it out like that then we have the second one around eighteen thousand seven hundred dollars about seven days ago right and right now guys if this low is going to hold around nineteen thousand seven hundred right now like that if this is going to hold guys all right then we could still see a potential continuation setup like that let's say and we could see a potential trend towards the upside right to about let's say 23 24k because we are still seeing also this previous high around 21600 dollars then another um higher high around 21800 dollars another third higher high around 22400 dollars so overall you can say that we are still going up and for, from here we could see like i said another wave up another point continuation setup maybe to about twenty three thousand three hundred dollars guys all right so this is in my opinion also a very very realistic scenario but like i said the most important part right now and right uh, let me give you a quick explanation how i would basically trade this move right here so if i would trade it guys first of all i'm gonna trade it definitely but in my patreon guys if you want to you can check it out down below in the description and in the pinned comments where i'm always sharing all of my trade setups but if you want to trade it by yourself um i would maybe wait maybe wait i don't know but i would maybe wait for the next one or two hours how we will react to this area right here around 19,600, 19,700 dollars basically because you can see very clear that we had some previous resistance around $19,700 and then a very clear breakout right here. So with that being said, guys, if we are able to hold above $19,700, you could go potentially into a long position right here, for example, like that. And then I would take profit somewhere around 21K or so, or maybe already around $20,400, $20,600 otherwise if we are breaking below this key support right here and we are going into this zone let's say between 19,700 to about 19,400 dollars let's say into this range guys then you can actually still take a short position for example and then take profits all the way down into 17,500 maybe around 19,000 dollars and so on guys so if you're speculating for a potential short uh, short move 
um, sorry for potential pullback then you can take for example the potential shot position otherwise if you're saying all right i think we are going up from here then you can definitely take a potential long entry right so this is how i would basically play it guys and this is what i'm looking out for right now in the immediate short term if i would take a potential long or short position on bitcoin but yeah anyways uh like i said for me in my opinion i will just take a look right now how bitcoin will react to this support around ninety thousand seven hundred dollars and then based on that i will make my decision because overall the rsi on the daily is actually not way too oversold it is around 36 37 right now there is still some room towards the downside but the problem is for me right now to get into a short position is basically the rsi guys on the four hour time frame you can see it's around 29 30 so that's definitely quite oversold in my opinion and yeah um like i said guys if you want to trade bitcoin with up to 125x in leverage check bitget down below sign up with my link down below guys it takes only about 15 or 20 seconds then complete your first time futures trading 100 people will share one bitcoin guys link is down below make sure to check it out and uh yeah otherwise make sure to drop a like subscribe uh check out my patreon down below guys to get all of my trade setups with that being said st stay safe guys don't get wrecked and see you later for another update and also join my free telegram channel guys down below to not miss out on my daily updates bye bye